Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to send metrics from our survey to Remitius through OpenTelemetry Collector. As you remembered before this video, Remitius grabs our metrics directly from POC 9464 opened by Java agent Remitius Exporter. Now, we're going to use OTP Exporter instead to send our metrics to OTP supported OpenTelemetry Collector. The endpoint is as same as for traces and locked. This is OTP gRPC at port 4317. After that, we'll set up a Remitius exporter license at port 8889, and eventually Remitius instance will scrap metrics from that port. Okay, let's go ahead and open our IDE. First, we need to update Java agent SDK configuration uh, metric exporters is no longer Remitius. Uh, it will turn into OTLP and by that we're going to use something like OTLP exporters, uh, OTL exporter OTLP's metric endpoint. Uh, so we are going to this one OTL exporters OTLP metric endpoint for metric exporter type OTLP then the same and now we are going to have traces exporter metric exporter lock exporter both of them are OTLP and each one have their own endpoint traces we have traces endpoint so they are the same so uh, one thing we know for sure that we have the default of your OTL traces exporters is OTLP metric exporter OTLPs and locks uh, the default is OTLP as well so we can get rid of them and for order traces and points metric and point and locks and point we can use the OTLP endpoints instead so we will replace them three of them by only one configuration variable so here's That's it. Okay. By sending metrics to collector, Remitius now depends on collector instead. So let's update our Remitius. So instead, depend on the other server. Now it's depend on the collector. And by the way, we're going to update Rafana dependency as well. So in the picture, we can see Rafana now depends on all of the observability backends here. So that's why we're going to update our Rafanart. Not only Romitas, but Romitas, Loki, Jigger, Chipkin, and Temple. So five of them. Okay, we finished setting around the service itself. The next one should be hotel collector. Okay, let's go to the hotel collector configuration file. In here, we need to add Remitius exporter. So, this is Remitius exporter. So, we are going to uh, export metrics through that port. So, basically, uh, our Remitius will spread from uh, this endpoint last metric, right? Okay. So, Remitius exporter. We can take a look at the Remitius exporter here. So we are using our the exporters Remitius, and we are declare our endpoint. So by that we need to export this port as well in the collectors in Docker Compose. Collector, okay. So we are going to export AAA night for Remitius to scrap our metrics. And let's back to the collectors. One thing we needed, we need to add the pipeline, another pipeline for metrics. So we are going to add a metrics pipeline. Here we have a receiver from OTOPs, yeah, as the same as traces and lock, right? From OTP gRPC uh, processor we you use back 
and exported now matrix will be exported to Remetius through that port AAA9. Okay, last step. Configure our Remetius to scrape data in Remetius of YAML. So now instead of wrap data from all the service, scrap from the open telemetry collector, so the collector, right? Uh, we name is collector, right? Okay, collector and 9998 collector, okay. Well, sorry, AAA night. This is, and we also rename so the hotel collector. Another thing we left until this video is if we take a look at our tempo configuration file. So we will have a block that generate metrics from spend and send them to Remetius through you know remote write with XAMLR enabled. So in order to make uh, it run successfully to you know to send um, trace metrics a span matrix to remit successfully through this URL we need to enable remote write case okay. so here so in order to enable remote write we're going to use this one okay at our remitters so here's our remitters now beside enable exemplars uh, now i'm going to enable a uh, remote write receiver to s at least you know at least to see the metrics from our temple for example mm. okay so let's spin up our infrastructure okay let's generate some data so local hot order quant uh three Okay, now let's take a look at our Raffiner uh, local host. 3000 admin, admin. I'll skip. Okay, skip. Since we already have the data so I'm going to check uh, Remetius. So, explored. I would like to see HTTP. Okay, let's wait a little bit to the matrix sent successfully from our service to auto to auto collector to our referner let's okay I'm going to refresh this one okay let's see okay now we have our data HTTP server duration millisecond per cut and mm, let five minutes and then let's enable exam alert Okay, nothing happened. So examiner is not sending together with the matrix itself. Uh, check on the other. So we have other matrix that are. Uh, let take a look at our remitter. So local host 1990s. Uh, we will see. So so it's now uh, collect data from our hotel collector right and uh, let's see uh, so beside we having HTTP server duration we also have another matrix uh, so this is the trace span metric that sent from temple for example we can take a look at it let's do it in our refinery trace bucket don't worry okay like to okay so for this metric because you know like in a uh, temple we already sent assemblers so that's why we saw this assembler here okay so basically you know we still enable assembler for materials and it still works it just we didn't see the the assembler for this uh, metric because we haven't enabled it uh, Okay, another thing, let's check temple. Do we have data? So everything is still the same. All the service, don't worry. Okay, so it's cool. How about Loki? 
like a uh, job. Mm. So lock is not like OTOP by default. So that's why we have to uh, enable it. Okay, now we need to back to our IDE. The first we need to uh, enable lock. So only uh, like metric and straight exporter metric and trace exporter at OTOP. So basically lock and on by default, right? OTLP. So now we need to enable it <laughs> by we're setting lock exporter to OTLP. Okay, that is the first one. Uh, the second one we need to take a look at the remitted exporters. And in here we have a option to enable open metrics and by default it's false. So if it's true, metrics will be exported using open metrics format and exemplars are only exported in the open metrics format. So that's why if we want to have the exemplars, uh, we need to enable this one. Okay, so going to hotel collector and our remittance. Now I'm open this one, I'm set it to true and by that let's uh, restart down and run it up again okay let's generate some data okay and I'll back to admin admin skip here's a uh, data source we have Prometheus right uh, explore Okay, explore remittance. Uh, we're looking for HTTP. Okay, that uh, haven't come because now it's not directly from Java agent right for our service. It's from Java agents to Open Telemetry Collector, and in Open Telemetry Collector, we also have like uh, set some setting about the timeout here, the website here, and also in Remittance we have some scrap interval here so that's why it should took longer than before HTT, okay so now we have HTTP server duration millisecond okay uh, let's pick it to 15 minutes run away 5 minutes uh, and enable assembler okay now we have some assembler and query with template Okay, this one. Okay, and lock for this pen. Okay, now everything is as same as the reverse video. We successfully send our metrics. Everything looks good now. One more thing, since we enable uh, uh, remote write, so we can use Prometheus remote write exporter to send our traces so beside Prometheus exporter we also have Prometheus remote write exporter even though both of them are still beta so they, they're not stable yet but since we, we can start it uh, let's go to our hotel collector for example, now I would like to have the remote remote right here, and instead of sending uh, metric data to remote exporter, now I'm going to send it to the remote right. Okay. So by that we can send data directly to meters, and we don't need to you know set up the script configs here for example okay let's test it give it a try and restart and give it up again as usual we're going to generate some data mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go to uh, Rafanart at Mint. At Mint. Go to Romethius Explore. Okay, the data haven't come yet. Let's wait a little bit. How about now? Okay, now data has come. And let's enable Samlert. Okay, so by using the Remitted Remote Write, we also have the Examlert. Mm, okay. So it's good to know that now we have two choices. Let's track our Rometheus uh, local host 1990. Sorry, local host 1990. So we would like to make sure that we are not yeah we are not uh, scrape data from the Rometheus exporter. So basically, our data here. Is uh, HTTP is from remote write Remetius. Okay, that's it for the video. We will end this video here. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and this series. Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy coding!